Hey girl, what's up? So today I'm gonna be doing my very first time installing a lace front on myself. So here is um, a package that I ordered, a kit from Dola Hair from Amazon. I have been seeing this all over TikTok. And I actually tried to order off the TikTok shop, but it was out of stock. So I went on Amazon and guess what? I found it. So, and it came a lot faster too than TikTok shop. And I have all those extra shipping charges. So yeah, kudos to you TikTok shop, but I stick with Amazon. Anyways, it came with the hot comb, the stocking caps, the little edge brush control thing, edge control, wax sticks, lace glue, lace remover, and everything. So here I have my hair braided down, and I'm going to take this edge control, and I'm going to just slick my edges back because your girl need her edges, bro. Like, we can't be out here slipping like that, especially that I don't know what I'm doing either. But yeah, so I just slicked up my edges with this edge control and I took a crochet needle to take the end of my braids and flip it inside of my braids or thread it through whatever so that everything is together yes my braids is looking rough but you know it's gonna be hidden and here I am just like making sure everything is smooth all the way back so that um no glue get on my hair or whatever no late loose hairs flying around i guess you could say that and the direction said to like clean the area with alcohol so that is what you see me doing right now cleaning my edges up with alcohol and now i read the glue instructions and it was like shake very well so i shook very well and then i did like i seen the people do on the videos and put little dots all around their forehead but your girl didn't know what she was doing. Do y'all see how I got these dots all over everywhere? Bro, um, that is not the tea. I don't know what I was supposed to have did the right way, but uh -uh, I ain't do it right. I probably should have did section by section by section, but yeah, whatever. So I went in anyways, and I was like doing multiple layers because it was like according to the directions on the glue anyway. It was like do multiple layers of thin layers. So I put it on, I gotta start getting aggravated. So I just started putting it on thick because I was like, let me hurry up. And then I hit it with the hair dryer. It was getting real hot. So I had to hit cool and then go back with heat and then cool and rotate like that. And then it was like almost clear. So I was like, I guess that's good enough. Let me go ahead on and slap this wig on. It can't be that hard, right? So I put a wig up and as you can see, it was already cut. So yeah, I had just put it on like that and I started sticking it down. And it was sticking a little bit, but then like, it was like little strings that have just flying all over everywhere stuck. But I was like, I'm finna get this. I'm finna pull it down, make sure it ain't on my, on the glue, make sure it ain't on my hair. And I was just like pulling the glue down, pulling the wig down on the glue. So yeah, when I tell you it was working, but it wasn't working. It was like the sides of the wig would not stay. But anyways, I did like I see the girlies do and take the comb and start combing down the lace front. But yeah, it wasn't really staying on the edges. But I ain't gonna tell you no lie, like right by my forehead, like in the middle, in the center, it was glued. Your girl had it glued down, baby. So yeah, went on ahead and I just kept doing that and I kind of got it to stick a little bit, a little bit more on the sides, but it was like right in the middle, like right above my ear going down, it was like not glued down at all. So then I went back in with the hair dryer to try to dry this glue on this wig and glue it down, dry it down, whatever you want to call it. I don't know, you know, this is my first time with all this, y'all. So bear with me. But yeah, so then I was like, okay, let me go ahead on and comb it back so I can lay this band down. Do y'all see all this glue on my forehead though? Like I got glue everywhere. Like. I should have went back and really paid more detail to the videos that I had been watching and seeing that they wouldn't put that much glue and they weren't smearing it that far down. It's more like a tapping motion. I was like painting it like I'm painting my nails or something with some um, fingernail polish. But yeah, if you're doing this for the first time, do not smear the glue all the way down like I did. Just do like a little small little section. So I put the band on from Dula Hair. And then I turn around and put the other band on for dual hair. But it feel like it wasn't tight enough. Because I've been hearing the girls at least be like, you know, it's got to be tight. It's got to be tight. So I put both of them on. I had put both of them on. But you know what? Yeah. So now that I done got all them little hairs out, I took this third band that I could really scratch. And I pulled it tight. I got it from the house. So it was like 2 or $3. I don't even know. 
yeah i put that on i wrapped it around twice and i tied not i tied it tight like you feel me like in a knot like not in a bow tie in a knot two knots okay so yeah so now i took the hair dryer and i was going back in again with this doggone hair dryer i'm like okay it gotta dry it gotta dry so that it ain't gonna lift because they say this how with the glue or whatever you want to call it the glue it be gluing okay so i pulled it off and then i started seeing the glue stick but why was the glue coming off because the glue was on my forehead and it went under the wig so again do not put that much glue girlies do not put that much glue but anyway it's a lesson learned and plus the kit came with glue hair removal kudos to do laugh for newbies like me who don't know what they doing we can get this glue off but i ain't gonna tell you no lie i ain't take the time to do the way the directions told me to do so i still had glue all over my forehead but y'all i had now cut all the combs in the band out the wig because i was like it's a 360 so like yeah let me go ahead on i just need to glue it down so here i am my little silly stuff don't put all this glue and look at me look at it i'm pulling it all the way down my neck why hair don't be way down now who tape is really down now come on now but again your girl ain't know no better I ain't gonna even lie to y'all. The glue in the back will not stay down. Probably because I put the glue too far down. Because I was trying to make sure I didn't get it on my hair. But yeah. The back was not glued down at all. I'm not gonna even lie up front to y'all. Like, I tried. It wasn't working. So, I pretty much gave up. But, you know, I was trying to be consistent and blow drying it. And I was like, you know what? It ain't working. It's lifting. So, bump it. It's in the back. Ain't nobody gonna see it. The hair is long. It's gonna cover it up, right? Yep, that part. So here I am now trying to make my little part, you know what I'm saying? Go in and style the wig like I see the girlies do. And honestly, I love a side part. If you know me, I'm a side part girl all the way. If you go check my videos, majority of them gonna be a side part when I'm doing my hair. But I was like getting a little confused because the wig wasn't going back as far as I thought it was supposed to go for the parting part. Like, maybe it was a lot, but uh, to me, it didn't seem like a lot. Because, again, I ain't used to wearing no wigs. But, yeah, I did, like I seen the girls do, put the um, wax stick on that. And I heated up, plugged up that, um, what that called? The hot comb. I plugged it up, and I started hot combing it. And I thought, like, for some reason, maybe the wax stick would make it, like, lay down. But it didn't. It just melted the wax and made it real slick and smooth and manageable but it did not like do like the beeswax that i be used to putting on my edges do like it didn't do the murray thing like stick i guess because i heated it up or whatever but yeah so here i am just trying to like cover the lace a little bit and i went in with some spritz you know and tried to melt my lace y'all i was melting my lace y'all ain't gonna lie it it kind of worked a little bit it took a little minute but i got it i got it ain't gonna lie this whole process took me like an hour and a half i ain't gonna even lie to y'all even though this video is not that long but your girl was persistent because i was already halfway through so i had to figure it out so then it was laying and I just kept on, just kept spritzing every time it kept looking like it was lifting up. And then I went in with this extra hot ass blow dryer and kept hitting the blow dryer on these edges. Bro, when I tell you, it burns. Bro, it burns. Maybe my hair dryer get too hot or something, I don't know. But yeah. So then I turned around and I tied this doggone, what is it called? Lace band? Tied that back around my forehead again to like melt this lace, right? And then I went in with a dual hair band and by the way, this video is not sponsored, as you can tell, because your girl only got 90-something subscribers, so how could I be getting sponsored? Who's really watching my videos? But anyways, I was like, yeah, while well, I let this sit, supposedly for these 10, 15 minutes that it's supposed to sit to melt, let me go ahead and try to get this glue off my forehead. Do you see that? Like, look at that glue. Bruh, I was combing it, picking it, everything. Oh my God, try to go in it with alcohol. I did go in with the lace glue remover that came in the kit but i wasn't patient enough to like let it sit the time that it was supposed to sit so i was like bump it i'm gonna get this off one with another i got it off don't ask me how i used to comb over and over again then i pulled this band off and guess what i had glue showing again i was like oh my god like how why i'm gonna figure it out so i just start 
peeling the glue off with the end of the rat tail comb as you can see me doing right now in this video so yeah i went on here and you see i did a pull test yeah the tug test that wig wasn't going over y'all at least not in the middle of my forehead but we ain't gonna say about that back or them or them sides though because it was not so anyways to try to hide this little bit of glue that was left i went in with the edge control that came in the kit yes they gave me some edge control um i put that on and then i started trying to use this little comb thingy thing i'm not for it like i don't know it's not for me it was weird maybe because i'm so used to doing it with a regular little small thin comb or a rat tail comb or a regular brush but your girl was trying to make it work and i stuck with it for the purpose of the video and i smoothed the hair down to cover this lace that was there so it wouldn't be seen you know your girl did that definitely did yep and i went ahead and tried to style this wig and make it look like something because it's on there now i can't take it off and from all the other videos that i've been seeing every time i said if you try to snatch it off girl you're gonna rip your skin off and i was not trying to rip skin off because you know nah -uh. and for whatever reason i was seeing my little lace dots or whatever you call inside my wig so i went in with a little bit of concealer you know and tried to hide it a little bit but i know it looked real bright right there but your girl figured it out i was just trying to do what i do what i see other people be doing and i combed it out a little bit so it wouldn't be so like harsh and patted it in rubbed it out a little bit so it'll be a little bit more then i had to go back in with this thing again because i was trying to style this wig y'all i was trying to make it look like something because it wasn't giving what it was supposed to give i was feeling like why in the world did i decide to put this wig on my head like what was i thinking it's got to be a better way but your girl kept playing around with it playing around with it and then you know what i wound up finally getting it together i, I wound up getting together it took a little minute but your girl was hot combing and rolling and twisting and flat ironing well i ain't gonna say flat iron i ain't got no flat iron but i was styling it i was getting this wig together y'all and i'm not gonna lie to you took a little minute like i said it took me about an hour i wouldn't have but i got it you know for the first time i must say i ain't do too bad you know i figured it out i styled it put a little stuff on the hair i got it moisturized and you finna see me in a minute show you like my ending results and how it was looking i was like well what if i pull it up or clip it up or whatever what that'll be looking like so yeah you're gonna see me do that too and that is pretty much it i don't know why i keep going back and forth with this um edge control like it's gonna stay because the edge control kept melting when i put the um, hot comb on it but by the way this hot comb is not the best hot comb i don't know if it's because i'm used to the old hot combs like back in the day when you used to sit it actually on the stove and it didn't have no plug on it but i'm gonna say y'all the buttons is not in a like good spot because when you holding it like literally if you're not careful you can turn the dog on um well, i keep want to say flat iron you could keep you could literally turn the hot comb off and not realize that you done turned it off so if you do use this and you get this kit just be mindful of that i must say but overall it's okay so here i am i finally just decided that like this is well enough this is good enough here it is there it is yes your girl did it i did it my first time installing a lace front on myself you guys what do you think the back is definitely not and i got a whole bunch of glue on the back of my neck that i gotta get off but yeah when i snatch this wig up off i would be getting this glue up off my back of my neck so let me, here i am trying it with a ponytail because your girl you know i love ponytails then i'm gonna go ahead and clip it up yeah your girl was looking a little chica 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 thank you for watching bye bye